I've been in show business for a long time. I've done theater. I've been on TV. Hell, I even done some one day's porn. I've been in movies. I've been animated. St. Louis? What the fuck is in St. Louis? But you know, I never did a comedy special. So I said this year on my birthday, I was going to do it. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. It started from the beginning. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for a laughter. Hey, Ronnie. Ronnie. Look, they ready for you, man. Come on. Yo, they lit in here right now, dog. I see a couple single moms. I see a nigga with a beeper. They all here for you, man. Ronnie, can you hear me? It's some, it's some gang members in here, bro. I, caught, I saw a couple GDs doing some tap dancing in here. It's kind of crazy in here, bro. This man over here, listen to Dr. Umar Come speak. To Come stage. on, Ronnie! The only comedian that's been on both Nickelodeon and Playboy TV. <laughs> I know everybody in here got a link card right now. You gotta go crazy, Ronnie. You gotta go crazy. It's your, your time. Hands. It's your album. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. works at comedy shows. Strong and mighty don't work when guys trying to get in with their girlfriend for the first time. Girl, I'm about to give it to your ass. It's small, but mighty. You pull that shit out, huh? Bring your brother. I saw him fix his pants yesterday. Bring him in. He look like he can fit. But I like this audience. Y'all graduating. Y'all A minus right now. A minus. Graduating cool long yet, this bitch. Cool loading. Cool loading. I'm just kidding now. I just want to say cool laude over this bitch. I like that word cool laude. Cool laude the shit. I go to graduation, the kids don't even know it. And graduate cool laude. Yeah! Any of kids y'all know? I just came to hear cool laude over the speaker. I'm gonna change my name to Cum Laude. Ronnie Cum Laude Ray. You know what I mean? Use that as my orgasm word. Ah, ah, Cum Laude. I said, you be bump. <laughs> Doing this shit a long time, man. Meet some interesting people. I talk to the audience sometimes. I gotta get these bits in, so sorry. But after the show, people are cool. Like, come and talk to the comics. We need that love. Sometimes we're getting too much love. I did a show in Coos Bay, Oregon in um, 2011. I'm in there, I'm talking to the audience. Dude walked up to me. He like, hey, man, you a funny as hell. Look what you did to me. He showed me you peed on yourself. I'm like, you didn't have to do that, man. Like, I know, man. I got a track infection and everything. But you just that funny. Took me to his family, whole family peeing on themselves too. I'm like, what the fuck is this? We need to take a picture together. Fuck that. Put that shit on Instagram. Ronnie Ray and the P family. Hashtag track infections. You know what I mean? Because you need them lights. Like doing the shows, man. The shows are dope. I like it. 
I did um, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, uh, October 2021. It was, it was crazy. It was crazy. I was out there doing my thing. I couldn't move around because the speakers were like feedback, so I had to stand in the spotlight. Punch, punch, punch lines, jokes, punch lines, jokes. Applause break. Punch line jokes. That's what I was doing. I was having a bit. There's a bunch of white people in the audience and shit. It was one black guy in the back. Like, hey, man. What you doing back there? He's like, I like it back here. I'm like, man, get your ass to the front for civil rights. Fuck that shit. He said, no, I'm comfortable. I'm like, I said, where you from, man? He said, I am from Nigeria. I said, oh, man, straight up. He's like, yes. I'm like, hey, man, you from Nigeria? He's like, yes. I was like, did you like that movie, Coming to America? He's like, yes. I'm like, what's your favorite part in Coming to America? He's like, the part when it came to America. <laughs> Yeah, what part? Like the whole part. <laughs> like, oh, you must have really like Black Panther. You're like, no, take that shit. <laughs> that shit is fake. <laughs> Wakanda for never. I'm like, God damn. God damn African man. <laughs> I do a show, I host a show all the time. I talk to the audience, like I said, and I do a show every Sunday across the hall. So if y'all don't like this show, come tomorrow. <laughs> And I just, I don't do material, I just talk to the audience. And she's like, how y'all doing? How long y'all been dating? Blah, blah, blah. Where you work at? Blah, blah, blah. One guy going around the room, one guy was ready for my answer. As soon as I said, hey man, how you doing? He's like, hey man, I eat ass. I'm like, what? <laughs> He's like, that's right, I eat ass. I'm the ass eater of Indianapolis. 14 blue ribbons, 10 trophies. Graduated cum laude, bitch. <laughs> Google me to know me. He said that shit. <laughs> Having to see people outside, we all close together. It ain't COVID season. Did that still, that still exist? <laughs> my cousin's like, hell yeah, it still exists. Look at my face. Look at me out. Look like a fucking ninja over here, too. <laughs> I'm a fool. I'm like, I know you, my other cousin. Y'all married and shit. <laughs> I want them to think I'm cheating on them. <laughs> COVID was mean, boy. COVID was mean. I knew COVID was fucked up. I knew COVID was fucked up when I started seeing Happy AIDS commercials. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? What the fuck? <laughs> they on the commercial, you can ski with AIDS. I'm like, God damn it. You can ski with AIDS. You can ride your bike through the forest with AIDS. I'm like, this shit is incredible. Give me some AIDS. Give me some AIDS. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Come on. COVID, though. COVID was crazy. You had the lockdown and shit? The lockdown? Somebody locked down? You good in the lockdown? You had, you had Tiffany with the mask on. Like, fuck you. I was alone, man. Single and shit. Alone the whole time. Single. No, the fuck that man. <laughs> no, no, not what you think. Not what you think. That meant every woman that came by my house that wasn't my relative, I was trying to smack. Yeah. And I was just I was pissing my friends off. They mad as hell. Like, man, you nasty as hell. Having sex with the Jehovah's Witness lady. That's what she's <laughs> The only thing I say, hey man, she wanted to come in the house. <laughs> she wanted to come in the house. <laughs> then the vaccine came out, the vaccine. Round of applause, you took the vaccine. Watch this shit. Round of applause, you did take the vaccine. <laughs> hey, okay, okay. You disease carrying motherfuckers. <laughs> You couldn't win with that. You, you, you took it or you didn't. You couldn't win. They were making up on fucking side effects. Either side. <laughs> People were like, man, you better not take that vaccine. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen to you, right? <laughs> your breath gonna stink for the rest of your life. <laughs> like, I gotta take the vax. Fuck that shit. I gotta take the motherfucking vax. Cause I gotta get outside. So I took the vax. I'm in the clinic scared though. I'm believing the bullshit. I'm talking to the people like, you know, if you take that shit, your breath gonna stay. <laughs> then one dude came in, he couldn't wait to take that vaccine. Cause he thought the side effects were different too. He came in like, bring on the vax! <laughs> Hell yeah! 
take this fucking shot, man, shit gonna change for your boy. Hell yeah. No more STDs. No more child support payments. Shit. Credit score going to 800. Give me the facts, man. Give me the goddamn facts. I'm doing this. I love this shit, man. A family note that came out. I'm glad y'all came. Thank you guys for coming in. I've been a fan of comedy forever, man. So this is um, all those times I snuck and listened to Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor, fucking George Carlin, Don Rickles, Bernie Mac, Bill Cosby. Yeah, give it up, everybody. You didn't clap for Bill Cosby. <laughs> Bill Cosby, goddamn it, man, come on. Let's talk about Bill Cosby. Um, <laughs> I was one of those dudes, I was a fan of Cosby. I'm like, nigga, them girls are lying. That's bullshit, they ain't lying. He ain't do that shit, he ain't do that shit. I watched the documentary, I watched it for 10 minutes, I was like, shit, he did that shit. <laughs> I'm watching this shit, man, I'm watching. You know, I'm watching, listening to the testimony, it was crazy. Some of them girls were saying some shit like they just, they couldn't make it up. No girl was like, yeah, um, I crawled from the bed and to the toilet, and um, I was about to throw up, and Mr. Cosby put his penis on my shoulder. I'm like, God damn! <laughs> Round of applause, fellas. Like you put a penis on the shoulder? <laughs> you can't make that up, come on! Yeah, no, he put his penis on my shoulder. <laughs> Ain't no guy bragging about how I was with her last night, boy. I put my penis on her shoulder. She's she mine forever. <laughs> put penis on shoulders. <laughs> and I'm watching this shit. I'm here, a bunch of women talking. I'm like, what the fuck? And I start paying attention. I'm like, you know what? I see Bill Cosby type of woman. <laughs> Bill Cosby's type of woman are women who don't have crazy cousins. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, right? Them cousins that you got, you invite to no family function, but some shit go down, you call them. David Earl and them kids. You know what I'm talking about. David Earl and them kids. She run and tell her mom, and she just called David Earl and them kids. They, tell them. they don't know me, no. They know you. Don't worry about it. She called the phone. They be like, David Earl and them kids. <laughs> Who? Bill Cosby from the cop show? He put his penis on your shoulder. Oh, we fucking him up. <laughs> and I watched him, man. When he went to jail, that was a tragedy, man. I was hurt. He was, man, my mom was watching some shit on TV. They went across the room and Bill has been guilty for eight years. I'm like, fuck. And what we do, people, we turn to CNN right away. Like, oh, let's see. Turn to CNN, he come walking down the hall with the cuffs. Oh, shit. <laughs> this shit is real. <laughs> First thing I did was grab my phone, hit the Amazon app, and bought the Cosby Show box set. <laughs> I'm like, we ain't gonna never see this shit again. <laughs> I love that show, but I can't watch it the same. You know what I mean? I know that show backwards and forwards. I can tell you what's going on. Five seconds is on, like, oh yeah, Gordon got trail shirt. I know that shit. I know that shit, man, but now I can't. When the, when the lockdown hit, I like, I'm gonna binge watch all the Cosby Show episodes. All 202 episodes, I'm watching this shit. I ain't got nothing to do, so let's watch this shit. I couldn't even get through season one. It's an episode, Rudy was sick. <laughs> I knew what was going to happen, but I was still concerned for little Rudy. <laughs> he gave her the medicine and shit, and she was about to drink that. She was like, oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Soon she put that shit to her mouth, like, don't drink that juice, Rudy! <laughs> don't drink that juice! Michael Jackson, goddamn it, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, goddamn it. I watch, I watch some shit. I ain't, I ain't that comic, so don't worry about that shit. I love me some Michael Jackson. Fuck y'all. Who listen to Mike? 
But I saw why Mike died. They came up on Instagram a couple of months ago. <laughs> they, they showed they showed an old fucking um, video of Mike behind the podium talk to shit because they weren't promoting his album. He like, yeah, and they out. They think they outsmarted me. They want my catalogs. They're never gonna get my catalogs. I outsmarted them. They're stupid. I'm like, fuck Mike. <laughs> <laughs> this is why they killed your ass. <laughs> if he gonna talk shit like that, he should have used his Gary Indiana voice. <laughs> Motherfuckers try to eliminate me. Are y'all fucking serious? I'm the king of pop, bitch. Me, Tito, and Randy, and fuck all y'all. I'm from the GI, bitch. GI. You gotta appreciate your cities and states. GI. GI. Y'all do it. But Michael Jackson is probably the most famous person ever. And I'm gonna say, for two reasons, I remember this shit. When Michael Jackson died, you know 12 people committed suicide because they wanted to die the same day he did? I was like, God damn! I ain't like Thriller that much. <laughs> I'm killing myself for this shit. And um, I remember the day exactly. It was fucking June 10th. 2005. Michael Jackson was going through the trial. This is a couple of days before they got the verdict. And um, I'm riding home. I'm coming home at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm living in LA. I'm riding. I get to my apartment building. I'm about to push the remote control, push the, the garage to open. And uh, I'm playing Michael Jackson's album, Invincible. And my favorite song come on. I just paused. I'm like, I ain't about to do this shit. I ain't about to open this garage. This song go off. So I had this shit and it came on. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom, doom.
I pulled up one day and stopped pumping like, fuck some bushes. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't come. He jumped up, stopped speaking the leg. He jumped out like, ain't no way, no way, no way. <laughs> ain't no way, no way, no way. I'm like, what you say, man? I said, ain't no way, no way, no way. <laughs> For fucking 15, man, what are you saying, man? He said, ain't no way, no way, no way. He said it slow like I'm both under, understand that shit better. <laughs> For 30 minutes, we talk, he just got fed up like, I'm like, what you saying, man? Fuck it, man, I say it, shit. <laughs> I say it. Do you have a dollar? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you ain't got no money. How you not, how you not fuck you then? Ain't no way he walked away. <laughs> you right there. But you ain't a homeless man? You walk past his dumps like, ain't that we need the Dorito bag? What you think that dude is? <laughs> he got the Cool Ranch, too, the Cool Ranch, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what was the smooth talking homeless dude? <laughs> He'll get your ass. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, I'd gladly lick your vagina for some porridge. That dude would <laughs> be like, your vagina for porridge in his bitch. <laughs> if you don't go, it's gonna be a line outside of dumps. Like, what's going on here? Do we even put some porridge out here? <laughs> Pussy for porridge. <laughs> Sound like a porno movie. Pussy for porridge, 19. <laughs> you know, porn's porn got more sequels than any movie genre. You know what I'm talking about. Big black titty nipples, 35. <laughs> Sausage for breakfast, 52. <laughs> fuck the movie. 85, 85 goddamn chapters of fuck the movie. You lose your friend for three months. Like, where you been? Me binge watching. I've been watching Fuck the Movie, man. I can't get past 35 in this bitch. Come on, man. Fuck that. You watch more. Uh, <laughs> like I said, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you drop facts on porn? Like, yeah, they made this movie. Yeah. No problem, <laughs> I had a friend that do that shit. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like, He's like, you know the number one porn site to search is um, black men on white women and shit. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> then he said this shit. He said, I know Martin Luther King is proud. <laughs> <laughs> my imagination with it. I went to Martin Luther King up in heaven and shit. <laughs> Look at my young brothers and sisters getting it together. <laughs> Black man and white woman sexual juices. <laughs> this is what the dream was about. <laughs> the Emma Till said next to him, no, this is some bullshit. <laughs> Wrong on that shit, Martin. <laughs> oh man. And he said I worked on Playboy TV, so yeah, yeah. I know porn ass. In my phone, I have the numbers on porn ass. So I can call the ass. But they old now. You know what I'm saying? They old. They age like bad bananas. Like we got three years of some hot shit now. The ones I know, like 50 years old, they, they ain't doing milk films, they doing gill films. <laughs> and I got attacked. I used to see them out in the street all the time. I was cool with it. Shit. I see them out, I'm like, hey. She was like, yeah, she was like, yeah. That's it. And she catching it, she must be like, yeah. I love you, goddammit. I got attacked. What if I didn't have tech? What if I didn't have tech? I see him out with her kids and shit. Like, oh shit! Felicia Felicia! <laughs> <laughs> who you got with you? Your grandkids? Hey, grandkids, you know who your grandmother is? <laughs> she the Michael Jordan, the dick sucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Felicia, tell the story about us. Uh, <laughs> Spaghetti forget in 43. You put that spaghetti string up that dude ass, sucked it out his dick hole. That shit was incredible. We in the 
at the end, what the fuck y'all shit on? Uh? Spaghetti with dinner, eat it. Oh man. Obviously I'm single talking shit like that. I used to date a lot of single moms and shit. Single moms in the building? Yeah, see? That's why I date them. They couldn't find babysitters all the time. They fit right in the budget and shit. They call me up, hey, will nobody watch my baby? No shit. So you want me to come over there and lay in the bed with you? I'm on the way. Save you some money. <laughs> they used to call me up, though. They put those kids to sleep, boy. They call your ass up. Like, look, I just put in a bed. Be here in 15 minutes. Like, shit, I'll be there at nine. <laughs> You jump in the car, you turn some corners, you run some lights and shit, you ride up on the sidewalk, you pull up in front of the house, hey! get out the car, run up on the bed, run up to the bedroom, look on the bed, and the baby's on the bed. <laughs> Drinking a four pack of Red Bull and watching Malcolm X. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> What's this? Uh, he wanna watch the end of this movie. The end of this movie? That's Malcolm X! <laughs> that shit four hours long! <laughs> Malcolm ain't even a Muslim yet in this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna tell this story. I did this shit in, uh, about five years ago. Me and Mitch were doing a show in um, Aurora, Illinois. And I did told this story. And two families got up and walked out. But, um,. I got y'all money, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna tell the story though, for real. September 97, this shit happened for real. No bullshit. East side of Chicago. Girl called me up, like, hey, get your ass over here. I need you to be in my house. Then you come in my house, um, I control everything. Like, cool, I'll be there. I got there. She had a Section 8 apartment. Anybody know Section 8 apartment? <laughs> <laughs> Do you work for Section 8 apartment? <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> this is why I come outside. To hear stories about Section 8 apartments. <laughs> <laughs> Section 8 apartments, man. So I get there, right? I walk in, she, she got, you know what I'm saying? That's why I fuck with her. She what, came in with a white beat on, like a dress. I'm like, oh yeah, it's going down. And she's like, yeah, you don't mind do it. I say, like, hell yeah, she get your ass in the bedroom. I'm going, shit. I get to the bedroom. The bedroom is small as fuck. This is how small the fucking bedroom is. The bed was here, the walkway was here. It was a Fucking crib with a baby in it. <laughs> right here. Do y'all get it? Yeah. Bed, walkway, crib. Bed, walkway, crib. Say it with me. Bed, bed walkway, walkway, crib. Bed, bed walkway, crib. Bed. Crib, walkway, bed. I'll do that. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I ain't doing shit with no fucking baby in here. You crazy as hell. I said, look, I told you in my house, do what the fuck I say. Like, all right, cool. <laughs> See, now take off your clothes and let's have the sex. I'm like, cool. <laughs> That was she called the sex. <laughs> <laughs> and I do what you told me. I got naked and we on top of the bed and I'm on top like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Microphone and all, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you like that? Like, yeah, I know you like that. It's me. Yeah, yeah. She's like, all right, now stop. Get up. Stand on the walkway and hit it from the back. <laughs> Bed, walkway, crib. Bed, walkway, crib. Crib, walkway, bed. Got it? Yeah. So I continue the sex. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, I felt the hand on my shoulder. Like, what the fuck is this? She's like, why are you stopping like your baby if that's why I stop? You know what she said? Don't worry about that. He don't know what we doing. He think we playing horse. Now get your ass back here and continue the sex. I continued the sex. But I wasn't as confident. I was like, maybe, maybe, maybe. We finished off in epic fashion. I was there. I don't know. Good times. We fell asleep and shit. 
stay in Fluff for like two hours. I had to get out of there because her boyfriend was coming home from work. Oh! <laughs> So I got in the car, took off, drove like four blocks, pulled over, like, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> I was having sex, and a toddler touched me on the shoulder. That <laughs> 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 wasn't the worst part of it, though. to me 20 years later. <laughs> I'm at Walgreens buying shampoos and shit. He at the other end of the alley, hey, hey man, remember me? I touched you on the show. <laughs> Y'all won't play no goddamn horses. <laughs> Y'all was fucked. I'm like, sorry baby man, whatever the fuck you're doing. <laughs> Your mother told me to continue the sex and that's what the fuck I did. <laughs> Take you to sex. Get you. Oh my God. <laughs> Anybody walk out yet? No? <laughs> oh, walk out of that shit. Too late. I'm going to see you there. Dating after you dating after dating? No? Yeah. What's up? You by yourself? Dating after. You got a date now? No, y'all know you don't got a date now. Like, yeah, fucking right. <laughs> what do you do? He just trying to participate. Like, yeah, I clapped that for <laughs> You didn't even see <laughs> They naps, man. All kind too. Tinder, hinge, farmers only. <laughs>
Who else died with no respect? Who else died with no respect? Ike Turner. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't respect Ike Turner. He died with no respect. You know why he died with no respect? Because Lawrence Fitzburne can act his ass off. <laughs> Round of applause to see that movie. So y'all know what I'm about to say. <laughs> Fucking craziest scene in movie history is when Tina tries to commit suicide. And they was in the ambulance together. And he holding that goddamn hand. He said the craziest shit I ever heard anybody say in a movie. He said, anime, if you die, I'll kill your ass. Like, God damn it, this motherfucker's crazy. I'm in the movie theater, the place in the fucking, I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> fuck, that's mafia shit. <laughs> they ain't like, they ain't like Ike, man. <laughs> I can tell when he died on the news, they ain't like Ike. I ain't give a fuck. Ike Turner died today at 73, and now the weather. I'm like, God damn it! They trying to kill shit off. They trying to kill the N-word off. That shit ain't gonna work. Good, fucked up a lot of way my friends talk. They put that shit out. I got friends that punctuate every sentence with that word. That's crazy. What's up, nigga man? Fuck that shit, nigga man. Nigga, I'm telling you, nigga man. Drop me off my grandmother's house. She got pies, nigga. She got pies, nigga. They cook it like that since she was a slave, nigga. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they can't get rid of that word, shit. Listen, racist white folks can't go to sleep unless they say it five times. <laughs> Sitting at the edge of the bed, not knowing why they can't sleep. Like, I done had three bottles of NyQuil. <laughs> Two bottles of Pantanol PM. And I've been hitting myself in the head with this hammer for the past half hour. And I still can't go to sleep. Oh, I got it. Nigga, nigga, nigga. <laughs> Tupac had a crazy, amazing acronym for nigga. Have y'all heard this shit? N-I-G-G-A, he said, never ignorant getting goals accomplished. N-I-G-G-A, never ignorant getting goals accomplished. Like, damn, this motherfucker dope. <laughs> he made the worst sounding word in the world, made it the best sound. I'm like, this motherfucker dope. <laughs> N-I-G-G-A, never ignorant getting goals accomplished. I'm like, shit. That reminds me of 30% of the niggas I know. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, that's 70%, they N-I-G-G-A's too, you know what I'm saying? Not intelligent, gonna get arrested ass motherfucker. <laughs> Dumb the niggas I know. <laughs> yeah, they cut it short, man. Got another show coming in, I'm trying to respect the folks, man. Forget them. <laughs> <laughs> October 2004, no bullshit. I moved, I was in LA, I just started doing comedy. I was hosting the comedy store. And y'all don't know, we don't get fucking paid shit for this. We up there working our ass off in front of people who paying two drink minerals, we getting nothing. My dad came out, he like, man, hey, I'm, I, I, I applaud your ass. You out here not getting no money, you keep doing your shit. <laughs> <laughs> but this, but for like a month, she was giving us like 10 bucks. And I'm like, cool. So I'm like, all right, so I had to work. I was doing a job, construction job, and we got paid that Friday. I wound up not having enough money to get to work that Friday to get my check. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna gamble on this fucking money on Thursday. So I get there, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna get some money tonight, right? She's like, yeah, just hang tight or whatever. My show was a half hour. I was working with Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones up there two hours and shit. And I'm like, yo, like, well, wait till Leslie. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm gonna be here till tomorrow. She's like, no, just, just hang on, I'm gonna give you your money. I waited all night for 10 fucking dollars. <laughs> So I kept going, I'm looking like, I gotta be at work at six o'clock and shit, and it's fucking one in the morning. So I walked over to her like, what's up with that? She's like, look, I'm gonna pay your ass when I pay you. I'm like, you know what, keep your fucking money. And I walked off. Yeah. <laughs> Not knowing how I'm gonna get to work tomorrow. <laughs> and like I said, we had no money, so I had to walk a mile to the car, because we didn't want to park in the lot. The lot cost like fucking $30 to park in. So I had to park a mile down the street. So I'm walking, I get like four blocks from the car. Here come these fucking dudes, these fucking three guys from New York. 
They walked up to me. What's up, man? Shit, we from New York. What's happening up here? Where can we go party at? I was like, oh, man, I don't know, man. He's like, man, who are you? I'm like, what, what you do? He's like, I just came from work, man. What you work at? I'm like, I'm a comedian, man. He's like, oh, shit. You a cop? She, tell me a joke. <laughs> I said, man, I don't feel like doing that shit, man. I got fucking work tomorrow. I ain't got no money for this shit. And the other guy was like, man, yeah, tell us a joke. And the other guy in the back was like, man, no, nah, man, you good, man? You good? Like, no, nah, man. He's like, what happened? So I told him the story I just told y'all. And dude was like, yeah, that's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. Tell us a joke anyway. I'm like, <laughs> So I said, all right, stick this in your pocket then. Let me, I got in the mold shit, I didn't bring no shit. And I was like, all right, check it out. Like me and my two friends are sitting on the porch, right? Me and my two friends are sitting on the porch. Looking across the street, we see two brand new cars. Lexus and Lincoln, platinum rims, platinum trims. These are the baddest cars we've ever seen in our life. I stood up, I'm like, man, damn! I wish you could rob me a bank. So I can get me one of them cars. My other friends said, like, man, fuck that! I wish I win a lottery. So I can get me one of them cars. My other guy just sat there like, man, shit, fuck what both y'all talking about, man. I wish I had sex with every guy in this neighborhood. I said, I wish you had sex with every guy in this neighborhood. He's like, yeah. I'm like, why the hell you think that? He's like, man, because um, my sister did. She owned both of those cars. I'm like, God. <laughs> And the dude was like, yeah. He did a bike flip and she know I'm like, he's running around. Like, Big money for real. Big money for real. <laughs> he's like, he funny for real. He's like, oh, shit. OK, man, we're going to go over to the strip club, man. I'll holler at you later. Good luck, bro. The other guy was like, man, here's my car. You ever in fucking New York? Yeah. Holler at your boy. The third dude was cool as fuck. He just shook my hand real hard. Like, hey, man, keep doing what you're doing. He walked away, I looked at my hand, he gave me 20 fucking dollars. I cried four blocks to my car. And I'm trying not to. I cried four blocks to my car. I got to the car, put my bag in there, just got on top of the car and just wept for like about two minutes. I was about to get up and open the door. All of a sudden, a homeless dude jumped out the bush like, ain't that weird, ain't that weird, ain't that weird, ain't that weird, ain't that I'm like, what you say, man? Like, stop crying like a bitch and give me a dollar. I'm like, man, fuck that. My name's Ronnie Ray, man. Thank you. good friend Jeremy Scipio said to me, hey, Ronnie, man, if this is a school and you ain't the Valley Victorian, you'll be least Magnum Cum Laude. 